Hello, this is Reverend Angelia with today's Bible reading. Um, still on the Viking Pro, but it should be warm enough tonight for the plants to go out so I can get my table back. <laughs> um, we're on uh, 2 Timothy, encouragement to be faithful. I thank God, whom I serve, as my forefathers did, with a clear conscience, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you, so that I may be filled with joy. I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and, I am persuaded, now lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God. And so, see, now we have Paul praising women in his life. Um, so that's kind of a switch for him. I think he's seeing things a little more clearly now that he's knowing the end is coming near. <clears throat> Which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power of love and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord. Remember, Jesus said, if you're ashamed of him, he's going to be ashamed of you. So that's not something you want to do. Or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. Who has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus. Who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald, and in, got to turn my page here, apostle and teacher. This is why I am suffering as I am. Yet I am not ashamed, because I know whom I have believed, and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. Excuse me. What you heard from me, Keep us the pattern of sound teaching. With faith and love in Christ Jesus, guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me. We still have problems in Asia today with uh, missionaries. <clears throat> including Phygelus and Hermogenes. May the Lord show mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And daughter. <laughs> and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. And yes, I know he's talking to Timothy, but I put that in there because, you know, I want women to know that God loves them too. <laughs> <clears throat> Endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer. And this is what I'll talk about, you know, about other belief systems that deal with other spirits. And I'm like, why, if I got the ear of the commander in chief, why bother with the little guys? You know. Similarly, 
If anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying. For the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, If we died with him, we also will live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. And that's all for now. Until next time.